Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. Root Beer here with question number seven on our 2011 Fairmap paper. Okay. So what does question seven have for us? Uh, question seven, very short. The number halfway between one twelfth and one tenth is. And if we look, one of the answers is one over eleven. Now, every once in a while, depending on which contest you're watching, I, I mentioned that uh, one of the problems I had when I used to do contests in high school was, uh, this didn't happen as much on the Waterloo ones, but it happened on, on some other ones, is I would read the question and I would just I would go too quickly. I would sometimes forget what they were asking, and then as soon as I solved for a variable, I'd say, aha, that's the answer. But other times, I would just you know rely on doing arithmetic calculations in my head, you know, quick glance, all right, obviously this is the answer. Okay? You know, and I've mentioned this in videos nowadays. I don't prefer to use my calculator. I would like actually, um, you know, testing my brain, forcing it to do mental arithmetic. But, you know, this has burned me before in past videos and in the past on contests. And this is an, an excellent example of something where uh, I think if you glance at it really quickly, if you glance really quickly, number halfway between one twelfth and one tenth, your brain might say 10, 12, halfway is 11, 1 11th. It's sitting right there. It's answer A. It's just begging to be picked. And you might just bubble in 1 12th, and, or not 1 12th, 1 11th, and move on. And I often find when I was doing the contests, you know, Pascal, Kaylee, or Fermat, uh, I would try to double check my answers at the end, but I was really confident in my part A answers. I really wanted to make sure the B part questions or any of the questions that gave me trouble, like the C part questions, those were the ones I double checked. And so I would hate to lose out on five marks just because I, my brain just made a, a quick sort of leap in logic that the question's not asking for. I bubble it in, and because it's question seven, I don't ever go back and check. Okay? And I would hate for that to happen to you, too. So 111th, not the answer, but I just wanted to sort of talk about how I think if you're going too quickly, too quickly through part A, the, the easy questions, you could make mistakes like this, and you'd never go back and check them. All right, so rant over. Uh, so it's not A. Okay, number halfway between one twelfth and one tenth. How do we calculate that? You add them up and divide by two. Wow, well, we can get a common denominator here. Uh, one sixtieth, or well, ending sixty. So five. Multiply top and bottom of a twelfth by five, and you'll get five sixtieth. Multiply top and bottom of a tenth by six, and you'll get six sixtieths. And so we will end up with eleven sixtieths over two. And so that's going to be eleven one twentieths. I'm really just sort of cramming it in the bottom. I wrote the, the top fractions way too big. But eleven over one twenty, and that's going to be our answer. Okay? And eleven out of one twenty is D. There we go. All right. So up next, we're going to take a look at question number eight. Thank you guys, as always, for joining me. And I will see you for more of our, our 2011 Fairmat paper in the next video. Take care.